Hey there, Neo Vim enthusiasts. Welcome back to the Junior Dev. So today we're diving deep into the world of organization and note taking with a powerful Neo Vim plugin called Neor. Now, if you're someone who loves to keep things structured and organized, or if you're like me and you have ADHD, this plugin is soon going to be like your new best friend. Now you might be familiar with Emacs org mode, a popular tool for managing notes, tasks, and a lot of other things. Well, Neorg brings similar functionality right into NeoVim. Now I know you can actually download org mode right onto NeoVim these days. I have to say that it's always been really complicated for me and so I actually prefer this, to be honest. This is the Git account. The lead developer is this Vero, I think is how you pronounce it. And he has a YouTube channel. He explains at length, you know, different NeoVim concepts and also how to use this awesome plugin. So you might check his YouTube channel out. I, I really actually enjoy his content. Now to set this up, it, it is a little complicated and you're going to want to actually watch his YouTube videos to figure it out or at least read the documentation or combination of those things. Whether you have like a simple to-do list, a detailed project plans or journal entries, New York pretty much has you covered here. Also, you know, one of the key features that I think is really important to not overlook is uh, the markdown support. I prefer the .norg syntax, and so that's what I use all the time. And I have actually written like a Python script so that I can parse that back into a markdown file or an HTML file if I need to do so. So like, for example, I have a whole bunch of cheat sheets. So let's just take a look at a couple of them. So you can see right off the bat, this is really cool stuff. If I need to like, say, update something, or I need a quick reference, this has got me covered. And with Tmux, I can pull it up effortlessly. There are other things too that I use this for as well. For example, if I come over here, like this is also one of the things that uh, I've noticed is tree sitter has to be updated to get this to work. This is the only thing that took me a while to figure out. So one thing that I'll do oftentimes when I'm setting up like a Django project or a Flask project is I'll have my Tmux screen out. Actually, I could just show you that. I think that would be fairly easy. My Tmux and then I could do that. Then I could have something like this. So like, for example, what I can do is go over here and go NeoVim. And then I can come over here and do like this Neorg index. Come back here to study, go to the index. I have all of my commands at my fingertips. If I go over here I have like another instance of NeoVim open with my Django project and if I come down here this is like all of my terminal stuff that I can enter in really quickly and I can just get up and go really fast and so I have everything that I need uh, at my fingertips it's really quick and painless and it allows me to be way more productive than if I was just relying on my memory. Now, a lot of these commands I have kind of hardwired, but not all of them. For the most part, I write these notes and I take notes and, you know, when I'm practicing programming, when I'm practicing different things. And this allows me to kind of keep documentation on everything that I'm doing. I keep a journal that I try to enter something in every day. Um, uh, last week, I think I went all week without a single entry, which is very uncharacteristic of me, to be honest. 
anyway this is very useful like for example if you need to keep track of tasks and deadlines new york allows you to create and manage tasks pretty effortlessly to be honest uh with support for check boxes due dates you can pretty much stay on top of your workload but new york is not just limited to taking notes and and tasks and that sort of thing it has a lot of really powerful customization options it allows you to tailor the plugin to suit your workflow also it gives you the flexibility to make it your own right if you come over here with me for a second um you'll notice like you can structure all of this right so say you have a notes section and say you wanted to go to the notes index right all of these the actual program automatically creates the directories and the files the nork files or markdown files if that's what you wanted it automatically creates them for you it's it's pretty uh pretty incredible another thing that you can do is add any one of these default modules right and you can pretty much have like all of these um, in your config so for example if you take a look at my config it's pretty simple here's my config here i have a few things here that um i really like to have like for example to export markdown or the completion many other things that i have that i really like but the one thing that i really think is really cool is this one right here so like in the index it shows you where my index file is and then the default workspace is that index file so what does that mean that's a whole bunch of things that i just said if i come here and i go into new york is index.norg right here that's this file right here and this is where it's located um, pretty easy to set up you don't have to know a whole lot about uh, lua to be honest and like i said it's super easy here are all of like my projects and a lot of different things that i work on there are a lot of plugins that i do plan on including with this like i probably am going to have a like the journal one that one looks really appealing to me I have the Edero uh, and Keybinds. I really want to start filling this one out a little bit. An advanced code block exporter. That seems really interesting. There's a whole bunch of things. Core completion. I mean, there's just so many cool things in here. And you can really make this your own. So whether you're a seasoned NeoVim user or just getting started, New York is definitely worth checking out with its intuitive interface, markdown support, task management features, and extensive customization option. I think it's a game changer for anyone looking to stay organized and productive, especially the ADHD guy. What are your initial impressions of New York now that I've shown it to you on camera? Is this something that you might use in the future? Is this a replacement for org mode? Well, leave me a comment in the section below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button. And you could hit the notification bell if you feel so inclined to do so. Well, that's it for today, folks. I hope you find this overview of New York very helpful. If you like this kind of content, be sure to let me know. Stay tuned for more NeoVim tips and tricks. And as always, happy coding.